Welcome, friends. In this one, let's take a look at a variety of exercises in algebra, so evaluating expressions, but many other ones. All right, let's get going here. So here we have evaluate x squared plus 6x six plus 9 when x equals negative 2. First of all, because it's a negative number, make sure when you plug it into the expression, you enclose it within parentheses. So you're going to do negative 2 squared plus 6 times negative 2 plus 9. And then you work through the rest of this with PEMDAS. Please do not skip the step with the parentheses, because that's often where mistakes arise. So negative 2 squared is 4. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. And then you add the 9. And now you can just go from left to right. So 4 minus 12 is negative 8 plus 9. And then negative 8 plus 9. So you're beginning 8 to the left, going 9 to the right. You end up with positive 1. So then this is the answer, positive 1. If I can check with a computer, the computer would also tell you that it's positive 1. So plug in, evaluate with PEMDAS. Look at this one. It says find the LCM of 5 over x plus 4 and 7 over x minus 4. Here it's really easy. The LCM is just x plus 4 times x minus 4. That's it. Just multiply the denominators together. They're already different and distinct. x plus 4 is not the same as x minus 4. Just multiply them and that becomes the LCM, the lowest common multiple. Two second exercise. This is the next one. So this one says we write 5 over 6u as some quantity over 36u to the 7th. Okay. Let me remove that. So you're going to go as follows. To get from 6 to 36, 6 has to be multiplied by 6. So you're going to have 5 over 6u. And then you're going to multiply this by the following form of the number 1. Again, let me stress, right? To make 6 into 36, you multiply by 6. But if you're going to multiply the bottom, you've got to multiply the top. You can't just do the bottom. 6 divided by 6 is 1. That's why this is allowed. Now, here you have u. So that means u to the positive first. So to make u to the positive first into u to the 7th, you have to multiply by u to the 6th. So you're going to put u to the 6th up here this way. And then also 6 times u to the 6th up here this way. And now you go through this. So it's going to be the following in the top. five times a 6u to the 6th divided by 36u raised to the 7th. I just work out the top, so it's going to be 30u raised to the 6th over 36u raised to the 7th. This is equivalent to the original, even though it looks different. That's the point of the exercise here. Okay, not to have it reduced into 5 over 6u to the 1st, but to be able to rewrite an expression. Now, if you have trouble Understanding how to generate, uh, for example, this form of the number 1, the way to do it is as follows, okay? So you have 5 over 6u, and you want to have, for example, the following at the end, right? Like something over 36u raised to the 7th. So the other way to do it is you take 36u raised to the 7th, and you divide it by 6u. So 36 divided by 6 is 6, and u to the 7th divided by u is u to the 6th. And then this u, the 6u to the 6th, is what you got to multiply the top and the bottom by for that reason. You see, so now you know it's going to be 6u to the 6th uh, divided by 6u to the 6th. Let me separate off the other bit of writing here like this, okay? And then 6 times 6 is 36. u times u to the 6th is u to the 7th. And that's how you know how to do it, okay? And in the top, you will again have 36u raised to the 6th. So 30u to the 6th, okay? Let's go on. Next one, so negative 7 over w plus 6. Notice that suddenly on the right side you have the negative w and the negative 6. So a way to do this is because we want to get rid of the negative in the top, you want to move the negative in the bottom, is you can proceed as follows. You can do negative 7 over w plus 6 is equal to negative 1 times 7 divided by uh, w plus 6. You want to make the left side look like the right side ultimately. Then you move the negative 1 to the bottom. You keep a positive 7 in the top. So it becomes negative 1 times w plus 6. And then it becomes 7 divided by negative w minus 6. So the answer here, in other words, is positive 7. Another way to think about the same question is uh, just multiply everything by negative 1 over negative 1 because that's a form of the number 1. So negative 7 over w plus 6. That will change the expression. So now you're going to have in the top negative 1 times negative 7. So negative 1 times negative 7 all right, divided by negative 1 times w plus 6. Then you go through this. Negative 1 times negative 7 is 7. This should be the negative 1 in the bottom, you see? So you're going to have negative w minus 6. In either, in either case, or in both cases, you end up with a positive 7 in the numerator. Right, look at this one. 
the nice thing about this one is bottoms already same so copy bottom once and add tops that's the basic logic so you're going to have here uh, 3b plus 2 divided by 6b copy the bottom once and just add the 5b minus 8 to it so bottom once combine the expressions in the numerators and then you go through that so so 3b plus 5b is going to give you 8b and then 2 let's be careful now then you have this 2 minus the 8 that's going to give you a negative 6 and this is hovering over 6b so let's be careful right 3b plus 5b is 8b 2 minus 8 is negative 6 6b gets copied this is not finished because in the top there is a common factor so we can do it as follows if you have to be write this as 2 times 4b minus 3 times 2 over 3 times 2b look very carefully right now uh, there's a 2 here there's a 2 here and there's a 2 in the bottom so what you can do is from the numerator just factor a 2 out and what's left over is 4b minus 3 uh, divided by you know, basically 2 times 3b it doesn't matter whether it's 3 times 2b or 2b times 3 it doesn't matter right because 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. so you can put the 2 first and now uh, basically cancel this and cancel this and you just end up here with 4b minus 3 divided by 3b this way and then this expression is, is in its fully simplified form. 4 and 3 to have no other common factor you can pull out and cancel with something in the bottom. And B in the top is present in only one term, not in both terms. That's it. So this is the answer. All right, let's look at the next one now. So 9 over 7D minus 1 over 2D. So list multiples of multiples of 7D and 2D. So work through that. So like 7D. 7D times 1 is 7D. 7D uh, times 2 is 14D. And you can stop right there. A list of multiples of 2D. So like 2D times 1 is 2D. 2, 2D times 2 is 4D, right? 2D times 3 is 60. 2D um, times 4D is 8D. 2D times 5D is going to give you 10D. And 2D times 6D is going to give you 12D. And 2D times 7. So 2D times 7 is going to give you 14D. This is the roster method. You see now we get... Uh, 14d as the LCM. So now you're going to take 9 over 7d and you're going to multiply this by 2 over 2 because that's a form of the number 1. And then the bottom 7 times 2 will be 14. And you're going to subtract from it 1 over 2d and you're going to multiply that by 7 over 7 because it's a form of the number 1. And 2 times 7 in this bottom is 14d. And then you go through that. So it's going to be 9 times 2, 18 over 7d times 2, 14d. Minus 1 times 7 is 7, and then 2d times 7 is 14d. You see, it's working out very nicely. Now the denominator is the same, copied once, 14d. Right, and then 18 minus 7 is going to give you 11 here. So the result is 11 over 14d. Okay, let's move on. And this one is already a little bit different, okay? So you have an 8u and have a 2u squared. One way to do it is just break everything down. So this is like 2 times 2 times 2 times u plus 3 over 2 times u times u. And then you compare the pieces missing. All right, first of all, notice that like this is already a 2, this is already a 2, that's good, that's the same. And this is a u and this is a u, that's already the same. That's good. And now there are some issues. There are some things missing. You have to multiply by forms of the number 1 then to make those things match. Okay, so let me just move these into position better. I need, I need more room, okay? So look, for the 1 on the left, there's only one u, but the one on the right has two u's. So that tells you you got to multiply by u over u as a first step. As a first step, you got to multiply by u over u. Because now the one on the left has two u's and the one on the right also has two u's. So that's one step. Now look very carefully. For the one on the right side, okay, it's got a single two, but the one on the left already has that two match, but it has two other two's not present in the one on the right side. So you got to multiply by 2 times 2 over 2 times 2. That's how you make the denominators the same. This is a way to think about it. So now you're going to have this. You're going to have negative 5u right, over 8u squared. Writing it back as 8u squared because it's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. u times u is u squared. Okay, and remember that u over u is a form of the number 1. Plus 3 times 4 because uh, this 2 times this 2 is 4. Right, and then bottom, what you have is 2 times u squared right, times these other two 2s. 
So it's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. You see? So now you also have an 8 here. That's good. So now you end up with negative 5u. Okay, being very careful. 8u squared plus, let's see, 12 over 8u squared. And then here, minus 5u plus 12. You can combine the numerators and then just copy the denominator once. So 8u squared. And that is the answer. All right, this is a way to think about this. Let's move on. Okay, next one, so 3 fourths plus 2 over 5 over 3 minus 9. So notice, you need to basically work out the top fraction, work out the bottom fraction, and then do the division from there. So you can do 3 fourths, 8 divided by 4, because 8 divided by 4 is 2. And this form gives you the same denominators. All right, divided by 5 over 3, All right, minus 9. Well, you can't just do like 9 over 3, right? Because that's 3. We need to have a 9 in this position. So up there, you have to have a 27 because 27 divided by 3 is another way of writing the number 9. All right, just like 8 divided by 4 gives you a 2. And you want to write it this way because then the denominators are the same. And now you can work on each fraction in the top. It's a 4 in the bottom, and in the top you have 3 plus 8. In the bottom, again, 5 minus 27 hanging over 3. So add. So now you're going to have a numerator there. 11 over 4, and at the bottom you're going to have 5 minus 27, so negative 22 over 3. Now you apply keep change flip, the standard procedure for fractions. So you're going to have 11 over 4 times 3 over negative 22. In other words, keep change to multiplication and flip the bottom fraction. Keep change flip. Then you try to simplify this any way you can. So this is 11 over 4 times 3. And the nice thing about the negative 22 is you can write it, for example, as negative 2 times positive 11. And now, as a result, look, this cancels with this. And up here in the numerator, there's always a positive 1 left over. It's very important to remember that. Please do not try to skip details because that's when the mistakes arise. Okay, so details are really, really the key to math, doing it well. So now what's left over is 1 over 4 times 3 over 11, and now you can just multiply. 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 11 is 44, and then this is the answer. This is how you do it. Let's move on. All right, so now we have this thing, uh, expression again. You're going to go with keep, change, flip. You have a fraction divided by another fraction, so you're going to hit this with keep, change, flip. Remember, that's like saying uh, you know, K for keep, C for change, and F for flip. Keep, change, flip. Let's go through that process. You're going to have X minus 5 over 12x cubed times, and you flip the bottom fraction, so it becomes 3x squared over, let's see, x minus 5, this way. That's the first step. Now look, this is in the top, and this is in the bottom, so those can be crossed off. So you have then 3x squared. Well, let me show you what we have exactly. What we have is 1 over, okay, 12x cubed, all right, times you know, 3x squared over 1. This is what's left over at a first stage. This can be simplified. If you like, you can do 1 times 3x squared, which is 3x squared. And then you can do 12x cubed times 1, which is 12x cubed. And then you work on this. This has to be simplified. So you're going to write 3 times x times x. Then 3 times 4 times x times x times x. That's the definition of what it means to raise to the third, what it means to raise to the second. Okay, again, then you cross off what you can. This crosses with this. These two cross off with these two. Again, in the numerator, though, what's left over is 1. There's always a 1 left over. So, therefore, at the very end, what you have is 1 divided by 4x. And that would be the answer here, 1 divided by 4x. And the last one for today is solve this equation. So first stage is distribute the 6 to each of w and 2 within the parentheses. So 6w plus 6 times 2 minus 8w equals 26. So now it's 6w plus 12 minus 8w is equal to 26. 6 times 12, 6 times 2 is 12. Combine the w's, however it is to do that, and then move the 12 to the right side. So you're going to have 6w minus 8w is going to be like this, 6w minus 8w, okay? Plus 12 equals 26. I just rearranged them a little bit, so we're not going too fast. 6w minus 8w is negative 2w, plus 12 is equal to 26. 
subtract 12 from both sides. Negative 2w is equal to 26 minus 12. And then subtract that. So negative 2w is equal to, well, this is 14, right? 20 minus 10 is 10. Uh, 6 minus 2 is 4, so you add them 14. And then lastly, divide at the end. So you're going to have w is equal to 14 divided by negative 2, which is negative 7. And that is the value. That is it for this one, friends. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, please subscribe. I hope this helps you out when you're doing stuff like this. I'll see you in the next video.